Hello YouTube, it's Matt here from RC Awesomeness, spelt wrong. And today I'm going to be talking about Nicomel Hydrite Battery Packs, or NIMH Packs. I'm also going to be doing a later video on LiPo Battery Packs, and then I'm going to be comparing the two, different charging techniques, all kinds of things between this and lithium polymer battery packs. Starting with these. Um, this is the first studio video from RC Awesomeness, so well, enjoy. Alright, so think I'm gonna hide your battery packs. The reason these are so widely used in RC is because they are cheap and very low maintenance. Um, most RC kits include them. Um, you can buy them. Uh, most hobby stores will have them. You can buy them pretty easily. You don't have to worry about it catching fire, exploding, uh, these sort of things. You can leave them as charged as you want, as discharged as you want. You know, and that's why they're so common. They really, really outsell lipos by a huge amount. Um, now I'll go through some of the reasons on that and some disadvantages these batteries have compared to other battery types like lipos. So the first advantage is, as I touched on earlier, the price. This thing costs a couple of bucks to buy, maybe 10, maybe 12 bucks, something like that. Um, maybe even cheaper than that, and you can get one of those. You can pick it up pretty cheap, um, off of any hub store, off of the internet. You can just buy it. Another advantage that I also touched on earlier, is that they're very low maintenance. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, about them going on smoke, about them catching fire, um, you can leave them as discharged as you want, as charged as you want, nothing will happen. Um, now these are the two main advantages that I could think of. These battery packs have lots of disadvantages, I'm going to go through those disadvantages right now. But first, let me just give you some of the basics of these battery packs. So, this figure here, 7.2 V, V stands for volts. So this is a voltage of the battery pack. 7.2 volts. 7.2 volts. Uh, the higher the voltage, the, um, the faster your RC car will be, RC car, truck, plane, helicopter, whatever. Um, the faster, the more aggressive acceleration it will have. Next figure, we will see 4,300 MAH. MAH stands for milliamp hours. So that's basically the capacity of the battery, how much charge the battery has on it. So basically how much you can run your vehicle before the battery dies. And NIMH, Nicomel Hydride Battery Pack. And then in smaller writing on this particular battery pack, you will see you got uh, number, I don't know what, 7.2 volts, 4,300 milliamp hour, nickel hydride stick pack rechargeable battery. Now, they call this a stick pack because usually they're shaped like a stick. Okay, you can see it's pretty long. And it's basically like a stick, you know? It's really like a stick. That's why they call it a stick pack. Uh, these packs, nickel hydride cells the individual cells in a, in a nickel hydride battery pack are round. They're like a cylinder, you know? They're like cylinders. And those cylinders are very heavy and thick and made of metal. And you, uh, in this battery pack, you got six of them. You can also have seven or eight or as many as you need. But in nickel hydride battery packs, you're gonna have quite a lot of cells. I'll touch, touch upon that again later. So in this battery pack you got six of one, two, I don't know if you can see them, but let me just see, let me see these. you got one, 
here, you can see it, and here, two, two here, three, two here. On the other side, you also have three more. And these cells are normally wired in series, which is done to add up the voltage of the cells. You can also wire them in parallel, and they'll add up the runtime. But in series, you'll add up the voltage cell. And each cell of a nickel metal hydride, you know, pack, each one of those cells produces 1.2 volts, and when nominal volt. And when series together, in series, of course, um, you add them up 1.2 plus 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 1.2, 1.2 times 6 will give you 7.2 volts. Now, that's the nominal voltage. It's the voltage of the pack, and it's about half charged. It's not when it's fully charged, or not when it's fully discharged. So it's about half charged. Uh, this figure will go up or down. Now, now that we've been through that, let's touch upon the disadvantages of the nickel metal hydro battery packs. The first one is, they're goddamn heavy. This pack right here weighs about a pound. Um, really, it does weigh a pound, and that's a lot. This thing is really heavy. Um, these things are heavy because the cells are so thick, and there's so many of them. Um, and that's why you won't see many of these in things that fly, like helicopters and planes. You won't really usually see nickel metal hydride battery packs. That's a really large thing. But then, you would still use LiPo battery batteries because, they're, you know, I'll, I'll talk through that uh, in the next episode. But, they're heavy. Uh, that's the first disadvantage. Another disadvantage is that um, they overheat. Now, a nickel metal hydride can overheat uh, usually due to gearing or mischarging. It's means you're charging it too fast or too much. Um, now, when it overheats, you are damaging the pack. You are losing the runtime. You are losing voltage, you are losing amperage. Amperage is basically how fast um, the current flows. So, a vehicle, the more amperage it draws from the battery, the more the voltage will sack. We'll talk about that later too. But, you lose amperage. The battery pack basically just starts to die. And in time, will just be no good if you do that a lot. So make sure you don't overheat it. If you overheat it way too much, you can actually one of the cells can actually shoot its cap. Like really powerful, like a gun, like go just go you know, like a gun. When the gun shoots. And it can actually kill someone when it shoots. So be careful with that. I've seen on YouTube these things embedded in drywall. Very, very, very dangerous when you overheat it way too much. Now, when you're talking about overheating a nickel metal hydride battery pack, a nickel metal hydride battery pack only, the simplest test that you can do is grab it, and if it's too hot to hold on to for more than 10 seconds, or if you just want to go out, that means that the battery pack is too hot. Usually it's due to gearing or mischarging. So make sure that the, um, those figures are set appropriately for the battery pack you are using. So that's the second disadvantage. The third disadvantage is the voltage drop under load. When you draw a lot of current from these packs, when you draw a lot, like a lot of amperage from these packs, the voltage will sag and actually drop significantly. And that basically means that when you pull on the throttle, it'll, the, the battery will, won't give as much power as it did before when you were gently on the throttle. So it won't be reaching top speed as you would with a light bulb. And also, when it gets discharged, like half discharged from your car, the voltage will drop again. So it's the dis how discharged your battery is and how much amperage is drawn from it. I'll talk about the connection between amperage and current 
uh, sorry, current and voltage and uh, capacity when I'll do the charging videos on these, how to charge them properly. So, hang on until then. Um, those are basically all the disadvantages of nickel metal hydride battery packs. Another thing I'd like to touch up on are the connectors. This is what they call a standard Tamir or Molex connector. And it's perfectly fine. It's a perfectly fine connector. The only thing is that you won't see these connectors on most light poles. And that's because they're not good at handling power, handling a lot of power through them. They'll start to melt. Um, they can actually weld together to the male side of the connector. And you won't be able to pull them apart unless you break them. And. You know, they're, they're pretty crap connectors, but they're cheap, they work, they're connectors, but most lipos won't come with them because they have so much more power in them, and I'll talk about that in the lipo video. But, that's it for now, see you in the next video, goodbye.